Hi, this is Brian from AcousticMusic.org. I'm going to talk to you about um, 12-string guitar today, this Taylor 855. Um, I was trying to think when um, I first started seeing 12-string guitars, and I, and I think the earliest recollection I have of one is um, Tim Buckley um, performed um, at the very end of an episode of The Monkees. A uh, very, very cool thing. I remember Michael Nesmith uh, invited Tim Buckley to do a song at the end of The Monkees, and I think he invited uh, Frank Zappa to the end of an episode to destroy a car. But we're not really here to talk about cars. We're here to talk about 12-string guitars. So Guild pretty much owned the 12-string guitar world. Um, and this is very reminiscent of a Guild. Um, this is a very early... Lemon Grove 855 Taylor. Taylor guitars, you know, I, they're now probably the biggest producer of acoustic guitars in the world. Um, well, you know, quality acoustic guitars. Um, and uh, we forget that they were a small company, um, a boutique company actually, in, in the uh, mid to late uh, 70s, going through the 80s. And it wasn't until, in my mind, um, until they moved to El Cajon that they became quite large. But this is a Lemon Grove 855. You can see some of the um, early influences. This, the shape of the headstock um, is, is very uh, much in the tradition of their, um, of their Lemon Grove models. Uh, first time I ever saw a 12 string would have been Neil Young. Um, uh, the Rust Never Sleeps movie, and his is identical to this. His is a Lemon Grove. I think his is, this one is from the early 80s. Um, his, I think, is from the late 70s. Only difference being Neil's has, you'd either call it the Mustache Bridge or the, uh, the Kissing Dolphin Bridge. Um, but this is an 855 Sitka Spruce Indian Rosewood. This actually has a three-piece back on it. And uh, it's, it's a cool... Cool early um, Taylor guitar. Um, check it out.